Hi everyone, I'm Michael Schneider. And I'm Emily Longaretta. Welcome to Variety's Award Circuit, where we're looking at some of the key television categories in this year's Primetime Emmy race. This time out, we're looking at the performers in the comedy field. All right, and why don't we kick off with actress Quinta Brunson from Abbott Elementary. Yes, and here we go. All right, now it is time to get this party started. <laughs> So amazing once again. She killed it last season, she killed it this season, and of course she won last year for writing, so maybe yeah, she won. Yeah, and she's been winning awards since then. Mm -hmm. You've also got Christina Applegate from Dead to Me, you've got Jenna Ortega from Wednesday, Rachel Brosnahan from The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel, Natasha Leone from Poker Face, Selena Gomez from Only Murders in the Building. So Jean Smart won last year, mm -hmm. obviously not eligible again this year, but we have Quinta Brunson, who did win the Golden Globe this year. And she's been everywhere. She's been winning so much since, and last year she did win for writing, so I think there is a really big chance that this could be her year. Season two really, really showcased a whole new side of yeah. Janine. Yeah, now we also have other vets here. Rachel Brosnahan, obviously, final season of Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. Then you've got the newcomers. you got Jenna Ortega, who is really, really a popular choice right now. Yeah. Wednesday was huge. And Natasha Leone. We know everyone loves Natasha Leone. I mean, she did so, so amazing in Poker Face, and it was so different for her and really proved that she's not going anywhere and she can take on any role. So that's definitely a contender. I think also Selena Gomez because she's been snubbed the past right. few years. This right. is a good way to sneak her back into there. Let's at least get her in the mix as well. Absolutely. Yeah. All right, let's move on to actor. We have some really great contenders. Jason Sudeikis from Ted Lasso, Jeremy Allen White from The Bear, Bill Hader from Barry, Steve Martin from Only Murders in the Building, Martin Short from Only Murders in the Building, and of course Jason Siegel in Shrinking. Now Sudeikis won last year. This year Jeremy Allen White won the Globe and SAG. I feel like this is Jeremy Allen White's year to win. I have every intention of turning this into a respectable place of business. Eventually. Hard to say. I it mean, right now, at least, I think they're both guaranteed nominations. And Bill Hader, of course, a traditional favorite. Mm -hmm. And then you've got the one-two punch of Steve Martin and Martin Short. And always the worry that they could cancel each other out. Or the bigger worry that maybe one of them gets nominated and one of them doesn't, which would be bizarre. Which would really be bizarre. Yeah, and absolutely. I don't think possible, but I guess anything's possible yeah. because you do have these new contenders, like you mentioned, Jeremy Allen White, but also Jason Siegel. And Shrinking is the show that, like you said, it's a hug on TV. So Ted Lasso may be wrapping up, but the Bill Lawrence universe isn't going anywhere. Yeah. So the Shrinking world could be recognized in a big way here. Yeah, I like all of these names. Yeah. Let's move on to supporting actress. Again, embarrassment of riches, the number of folks who could be nominated, should be nominated, and the people who probably won't be, but should be as well. Cheryl Lee Ralph at the top of the list. Being a teacher is being asked to show up every day and try our best. She won last year for Abbott Elementary. Mm -hmm. Shoe win again this year. Hannah Waddingham from Ted Lasso, also a favorite. Janelle James from Abbott Elementary. Mm -hmm. Io Edabiri from The Bear, newcomer, but just a standout from that. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, you've got Alex Borstein, who she's got too many Emmys. People like, love so her. many There's Emmys. There's no such thing as too I many. Know. Juno Temple from Ted Lasso. And then, folks that I think should be in the conversation mm -hmm. as well Sarah Goldberg from Barry, overdue for some recognition. Mm -hmm. Jessica Williams from Shrinking this year, just a standout. And then, when we talk about Abbott, there is only so much room for different people from shows, but mm -hmm. you can't count out Lisa Ann Walter. I mean, that is such a long list, and every single person, there's a good argument to make that they deserve the recognition. Yeah. I think that it's a really tough way to decide. I mean, the Academy, like we said, loves Alex Borstein, so there is a way that that could break in, but I don't know. Final I think, season. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I think after Shirley Ralph's win last year, it might go her again. It could. It depends, like, the overall trend. If uh, this is Abbott's year in Best Comedy, then maybe it goes down the line. Yeah. It also could potentially be the final season of Ted Lasso. We don't know at the time of taping. You probably know by the time you're watching this, <laughs> but we don't. So there's a good chance that this is the last opportunity for more recognition for Hannah Waddingham mm -hmm. or for Juno Temple. Final season of Barry. You know, opportunity for Sarah Goldberg to at least get a nom. Yeah, and I feel like she's overlooked a lot and she shouldn't be. So yeah. I think it'd be a really good time to recognize her yeah. if you're listening to us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, well, let's get into supporting actor. We have, once again, quite a good group here. Anthony Kerrigan for Barry, Harrison Ford for Shrinking, Brett Goldstein for Ted Lasso, Phil Dunster for Ted Lasso, Eben moss Bachrock for The Bear, Tony Shalhoub for The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel, Tyler James Williams for Abbott Elementary, and everyone's favorite, Henry Winkler yeah, for Barry. Yeah, and it almost sounds like we're reading a laundry list, but this is like a laundry list of all of these people deserve nominations and could very well get nominations. Yeah. So Brett Goldstein won last year. Best thing 
you can do with bullies is ignore them. Then you sneak into their house at 4 a.m., which, statistically speaking, is the hour people are least prepared to defend themselves. This could be a big year for Brett Goldstein because yeah. obviously also in the hunt for writing for both Ted Lasso and Shrinking. Give him everything. <laughs> yeah, why not? Like, it's Brett Goldstein's why world. Not? Yeah, so. absolutely. But Tyler James Williams is also having a moment. I mean, yeah. he won at the Globes, and I think a lot of people have been talking about him this season of Abbott. So like you said before, it depends on what the year is. If it's the year of Abbott, Tyler has this. Yeah, and you know, there's opportunities for a number of Ted Lasso folks mm -hmm. to get nominations, including Phil Dunster, who, you know, sort of hasn't necessarily gotten the recognition yet that I think he deserves for playing Jamie Tart. And this may be the year because it's been a real fun, interesting ride to see his evolution over yeah. time. Now Brett's got it. Now it's time for Phil to get it. I mean, it'd be a fun thing to see. And I think also it's a really exciting time for shrinking. It's hard to say no to Harrison Ford. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it's really nice to see a big star like that get recognized yeah. on TV. And then Henry Winkler, you know, he came in winning an Emmy for that role. He could go out as well, but then Anthony Kerrigan, of course, as Noho Hank, needs to be in the mix too. Mm -hmm. But Emmy loves Tony Shalhoub. So all of these people, mm -hmm. true contenders. Really hard to pick. All right, well, we said a lot of names. Hopefully all these people are nominated. Why not? We're going to give it to everyone. <laughs> but I think that is it for now. So please join us for another edition of Award Circuit. Thanks for watching.